share date 2-11-45-19. The SS Friendship is in orbit above the beautiful planet of Peaceable, where we've picked up a box with mysterious contents that must be delivered to the planet Gamma-1. Where did you get that beautiful box, Captain Braveheart? <laughs> What's in it? Sorry, Treatheart. You can't open it. I promised the President of Peaceable that no one would open this box. So I hope I can trust you all to keep that promise. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Good. Then take this box to the storeroom, and then hurry back so we can set course for Gamma-1. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. Those Care Bears finally have something worth stealing. That box will make a perfect present for Uncle... Uh, I mean, Lord Noheart. But, Shrinky, it's just a box. Beastly, you meteor head! I want whatever's in the box. It must be something important. Now get on that contraption and start paddling! No, oh, I'm paddling! I'm paddling! I think the box must contain some kind of incredible scientific experiment. Or maybe even the secrets of the universe. What do you think, Lieutenant Cheer? Well, Mr. Brightheart, I think it must contain expensive jewelry. How about you, Treatheart? <laughs> I'm hoping there's a piece of triple layer chocolate cake inside it. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you three doing? You were supposed to come back to the bridge. Chief Officer Grumpy and I just had to pilot the ship out of orbit by ourselves. Sorry, Sorry Captain. Captain. We got caught up in trying to figure out what's in the box. Well, I think it's full of trouble, if you ask me. Ooh. Speaking ah. of trouble, there go the engines. Oh, I'd better go fix them again. All right, everyone. Back to your posts. Hi, Captain. Hmm. I'd really like to know what's inside that box myself. No, I made a promise not to touch it. And when Captain Braveheart makes a promise, oh, he keeps that promise. I'd never gotten out of bed. Okay, Furball, drop anchor! Aye, aye, Shrinky. <laughs> Come on! We're going for a little spacewalk. Ow! Beastly! Coming, Shrinky! Oh, these rocket boots never... Whoa! Set my multi purpose gizmo to opening mode. <laughs> we'll be inside in a flash. Ha! Uh oh. <laughs> Smooth move, Einstein! <laughs> Come on, Beastly! Let's get these clumsy space helmets off and find that box! Don't worry, Shrinky. I'm good at finding. <clears throat> Things. Gosh, I keep thinking about what's in that box. Me too. Me three. The suspense is getting to me. Maybe we could uh, just... Go and take a little look inside the box? Yeah, an itsy bitsy peek wouldn't hurt. I thought you said you were good at finding things, Furball. I did. But I didn't say I was fast. Come on, let's hurry. No, oh, the Care Bears are coming. <laughs> Quick! Whoa! Get out here! I hope we don't bump into the captain. Oh, whoops! I thought I told you to go to the bridge. 
You did. And we did go there. But we left because, uh... We had to throw out the garbage. Yeah, that's right. of Gamma-1. He's beaming aboard right now. Welcome aboard the SS Friendship, Mr. President. Thank you, Captain. My crew has something to say to you. No. I'm afraid we let our curiosity get the better of us. So we opened your box. And now the bees are loose on the ship. <laughs> that is very obvious. They've built a house around you just like they do for my people. That's what you need the bees for. Your people live in the hives the bees make. That's right. Luckily, I can call the bees back with this whistle. Well, 
well, Mr. President. Now my crew knows what can happen when they let curiosity get the best of them. Right, crew? Sorry, we can't salute. Ha 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 ha!